Okay, so this circuit consists of an Arduino Nano, a Bluetooth module, it's an HCO5, and this is an, a battery buzzer, so it can indicate if the battery is at low voltage, but it's optional. So this is a relay. It's just a switch, an electrical switch, and what I'm doing is I'm connecting to the HCO5 module with my phone, and then I'm sending a signal telling the Arduino to turn on the relay. And so that is um, basically all the circuit is. And these wires, two of them connect to the motherboard because to turn the computer on all it's doing is just shorting the two pins out so if you connect the, these to it uh, it would short it and turn it on but then the switch wouldn't work so I connected another two pins to it so that these could connect to the switch Up there you can see the switch is the big one on the left and here is its pin Let me, this one and so those two pins the main connectors um, connect to this one so the switch would work whilst still having contact with the relay Okay, so before I start part 3, um, I would like to tell you that the battery that I'm using for this circuit, uh, you don't have to use the same battery because the one that I'm using here is um, approximately 2.2 amp hours and that's too much, you really don't need that. If you get one that's about 300 milliamp hours, it's good, it's enough. And also in part 2 I forgot to uh, connect the battery buzzer, uh, so I'll leave a... Anyways, I'll show it to you right now, uh, the data sheet for it. It's quite simple to use. Anyways, now that you've seen the data sheet, let's start. So, uh... In the Arduino program, I'm going to show you the most important parts of the program. So first we have this. It's defining relay 1, which is the one that we're using, relay, to pin digital 11 of the Arduino. Then, we are telling the Arduino that pin 11, which we'll call relay 1 from now, is output. And then, we're telling it that Relay 1 is going to be high in the void setup so that it doesn't turn on when the program is uploaded or uh, we turn on the Arduino because we don't want it because the computer is just going to shut down and turn on by itself. So yeah, that's it. And this one, the program that I was using because I merged two programs that I found on the internet together. I a link in the description for them. I left it there because the program for the HCO5 in the past it was used to turn on the LED, an LED. So I left it there in case I wanted to turn it back, you know. Uh, yes, that's it here. And uh, now, here we're telling that it if input string A it's going to turn the relay on for 750 milliseconds and then turn it off and that time it should either turn on the PC or turn it off now this part input string B I'm not really using it because my, the, the past project here 
When I created the app, I used two buttons, and B was used to shut it down, but then I figured out that I really don't need it, and just used one. And I left this one here, in case I, I wanted to turn back, so yeah. Now, on to the uh, app. So, I to make this app, I used Mithap Inventor 2. It's a good, good website, you can create any sort of um, app. Now, what I did here, I also uh, copied some parts of the program from an another uh, YouTube video. I'll leave a link to that also in the description. So what I did is just uh, put a list picker here so that you can select uh, to what device you want to connect to, in this case the HCO5 module. And then just take the button. Now if you go into the program, this part just says that if you press on this picker one, it's going to open the selection for w what to what con you want to connect to. And so when you connect to the Bluetooth module, when you press this button, button one, uh, it's going to send a string called A. And in the program, if you remember, it says if input string A. The relay is going to turn on for 750 milliseconds and then turn off. So that is basically it. Turns off, on and off. And turns the PC on or either off. So I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.